Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your love reading for the month of September 2024. As always, please only take the messages that are meant for you and leave what is not yours for someone else to enjoy. Also, if anything ever comes out of a reading that you do not like, then it's completely within your power to change, okay? Tower reads, they are just a guide, it's just a temperature check, okay? Anything that actually happens is completely and absolutely up to you. You totally do have free will, okay? Right, so with all that being said, let's find out what is coming in towards you guys in love. What's going on for Aquarius in love, please? What's going on for Aquarius? Aquarius in love. Okay. Right, so your first card out, Mr. or Miss Fix-It. Don't try to fix others. Heal yourself to attract your best partner. People pleasing and trust the process. Yeah, it's codependency basically, Aquarius, okay? Um, it means it is not your job to fix other people. It is not your responsibility to fix others, okay? Um, it's not your job to make anybody happy. It is only your job to fix yourself and to create a lifestyle that you're happy with, okay? Um, see with this whole wanting to fix someone, that leads on to toxic relationships, okay? So do just, just be aware if that's going on, then just do be aware that that's what's happening, okay? What else? For Aquarius, please. Leaving space, okay? Leaving space. Give yourself time to heal. Um, the right one cannot come along if the wrong one is there. Clear a draw for them. Clear some space. Clear some space for your ideal partner here, Aquarius, okay? Um, so, again, it's like, it, it depends entirely on how you're reading this, right? Um, so, on one hand, you could already be dealing with an individual that you know is not the right one for you and spirit's going to be telling you okay so you need to clear space then you need to um really make sure that that you're doing that in a works is that you don't attract the same type of broken person into your life again um you know make space for the right person to come along or this this could be something else entirely different if you're currently single and you're looking for love, for example, uh, have you made space in your life to meet that someone new? Um, are, are you giving yourself the opportunities to meet someone new? Do you know what I mean? So you've got to take these messages really, really carefully. Um, in accordance to your actual situation because there's no way that all Aquarius individuals are dealing with the same situation, you know. Give yourself time to heal from whatever it is that you've been through. Definitely don't rush into anything new too quickly. Uh, make sure that there's that breathing space in between relationships, in between connections, so that you're not taking in old energy into your new connection, okay. Make sure that you're taking care of your own needs. Yeah, ascending, beautiful. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase and preparing for union and expectations. Confirm your, I can't see that. <laughs> it's too far away from me, I can't read it. Uh, confirm you want the same things, prioritize the relationship and expectations yield results. Okay. Uh, what are your expectations? What are your expectations? Are your expectations realistic? Have you not set any expectations? Um, how are your standards? Are your standards high? Have you been dropping your standards in order to reach someone else's level? It's time for you to transcend the obstacles here. Think about uh, expansion. Think about the new phase in your life. 
Can you tell us more about Mr. or Ms. Fixit for Aquarius, please? Mr. or Ms. Fixit for Aquarius. What's going on? The Nine of Cups and Faith. Beautiful. So faith is the Hierophant, okay? Um, so you've got Pisces and Taurus that's coming out with this energy. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's that place of inner peace, of security, of the lifestyle that you create for yourself, of happiness. And again, it reinforces that message of it's not your job, it's not your responsibility to fix other people. There could well be a situation here this month, Aquarius, where somebody's expecting for you to fix oh, all of their problems. Magician reversed, that's a manipulator. And the three of coins. Okay, so you've got uh, Capricorn. You've got Gemini and Virgo out as well. I'm not feeling that energy particularly strong, though, to be honest with you. There, there is manipulations that's going on. Um, you've got insecurity with this magician reversed in the three of coins okay somebody around you somebody that you're dealing with or are considering dealing with they have issues they have problems they are deeply deeply insecure and they're or oh, this is somebody that you used to deal with um for some somebody that you're trying to split from trying to split from someone because they're deeply insecure. So this this is saying somebody has got huge issues with their own self-esteem here, Aquarius, and they make their problems everyone else's problems. They blame everyone else for the, their own problems and for the problems that they themselves create, okay? Magician in reverse is really manipulative. It's a shit stirrer energy, okay? It's a troublemaker. Um, it, it's someone who is a liar. It's someone who projects their crap onto other people. And with it being right next to the three of coins, that's someone who also expects everyone else to orbit around them and to do all of the work for them, okay? And they manipulate other people into basically doing everything for them. Now, when you consider what energy it was that we asked to clarify, it's Mr. or Miss Fixit. There's learnt helplessness here from this individual. And I suspect very much that they are leaning on to you for absolutely everything. There's this learnt helplessness. Oh, Aquarius, can you do this, that, and the next for me? Oh, Aquarius, can you go get me this? that and the next. Do you know what I mean? It's like treating you like the gopher, treating you like a doormat, treating you like an, a slave, you know? And then your energy here, it might have made you happy at one point to do everything for this person. It might have given you a purpose or a sense of purpose. But it's become too much now, hasn't it, Aquarius? It's become more of a burden rather than anything else. So that's what's going on with this energy here. What's this leaving space, please, for Aquarius? What's this leaving space for Aquarius? Whoa. Okay. It's a bit intense. The Eight of Coins, Death, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Holy shit. Okay. Um, you've already got your sights set on someone else here, Aquarius, or someone else has got their sights set on you while you're dealing with this issue down here. It, it's all going on at the same time. That's why the cards came flying out the deck in the way that they did. It, it's kind of like a warning for you not to take on too much too soon. 
Okay. It, it, it's a warning for you not to get involved with anything new too quickly or too soon after this here. Okay. Um, because it's likely that there is still some, there, there's still some healing that, that you're needing to go through. There's still a process that you're needing to give yourself time to go through before you dive into something else new. Okay. Um, again, with all the cards coming shooting off out the way they did, like you're, you're literally dealing with so many situations here at the same time. You're trying to juggle everything and that's going to be really confusing when it comes down to you uh, needing to take decisive action here, okay? Um, Eight of Coins, Death and the King of Swords. So you've got Aquarius Energy, Scorpio and Virgo. Uh, you've also got Pisces and Cancer here as well that's coming out. I am seeing that there's a romantic offering that is being extended out towards you here Aquarius or you're wanting to extend a romantic offering to someone else but the problem is you've got this messy energy here where you've got an individual with that incredibly low self-esteem who's expecting for you to run around after them do everything for them fix them uh, constantly comfort them do you know what I mean it's like you cannot be dealing with these two people at the same time Aquarius you are eventually at some point going to have to choose, okay? The King of Swords is here because you've got to make the logical decision, okay? And whatever you do from this point on, Aquarius, it is going to require hard work and dedication, okay? Uh, with your change, transformation, liberation, metamorphosis with this death energy, that's going to be hard work. It's going to be a long, slow process, Hmm. And clarify this leaving space for Aquarius, please. What's going on with this Eight of Coins, Death, King of Swords for Aquarius leaving space, please? It's also ending a current situation. You've got to end a current situation before you can invest in a new situation okay ten of cups and the five of wands off center yeah um they're saying that you're not going to be able to avoid the struggle you're not going to be able to avoid the hard work that comes with this new beginning here okay um uh, ten of cups five of wands that's like the insecure manipulative individual it could be a member of your own family or it could be somebody that you've had a family with again take it as it resonates okay but there's certainly the message here of um by you sticking it out and being incredibly unhappy that's not going to change anything because I'm seeing someone be really miserable within a situation, but also not knowing how to break free from it either, not knowing how to change it. We've got a lot of arguments here that's going on within a home, or within a family, within a family setting. A lot of arguments, disagreements, a lot of conflict. Uh, there's the possibility also of somebody actually getting physical with another person through these arguments. There's also rivalry, tensions, competition. And I'm reading this energy as somebody is in competition with a younger individual. Someone is in competition possibly also with the child here, which is really, really awful. What's this? Page of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Yeah, the Five of Swords. That's the energy of a Billy that's coming out. In this context, that's a Billy who is keeping another person here stuck in their heads. We've got feeling overwhelmed and overpowered by another individual. It's like every time this person here does not get what it is that they want from you, Aquarius, they start like doubling down on their manipulative tactics here. 
keeping you stuck in your head, making you feel like there's no escape, making you feel like you don't have any other choice. And you absolutely do have a choice, Aquarius. You always have a choice. <clears throat> always, always, always. Nine of Swords off-center with the Seven of Coins also off-center. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bad investment here that's been made. I feel somebody's, someone is really resenting the fact that they're now, quote-unquote, stuck in this unhealthy situation. Is this is someone saying I can't do right for doing wrong okay this has also affected someone's ability to sleep at night they're feeling very nervous feeling very timid they're not wanting to upset the apple cart as it were so someone's keeping their feelings of of, of love towards another person here a secret I feel because they're, they're not wanting to cause more problems f with this individual over here, with this manipulative person. It's almost like Aquarius. Somebody's been accused for so, so long of um, doing something that they haven't been doing, such as cheating. Someone's been accused of that for so, so long that now that's actually broken down the relationship because there's only so many accusations one person can take here until it pushes them away completely. That That's this energy right here. Spirit is saying though that you can ascend from this, that you can grow from this, that you can welcome in a new phase in your life if if you so choose to do so two of wands yeah it's time for you to make that decision and it feels almost as if you've got to make that decision here sooner rather than later and do you remember me telling you that you cannot be dealing with these two people at the same time Aquarius you've got two boxes and one key which reinforces that message that I gave you earlier. One box, one key. On this card, you've got two boxes and one key. It's time for you to make that choice. Person A or person B. Tell us more for Aquarius, please. Tell us more for Aquarius. What's going on? Ascending and making the choice for Aquarius. Thank you. Ace of Coins. Yeah, a brand new beginning. Ace of Coins is a gift from the universe. It indicates that um, that there is abundance in your future, but again, with the bumblebee, it's going to take time, it's going to take work, it's going to take dedication on your part. You've also got a ladybird or a ladybug, depending on where it is that you're from, and that's a symbol of good luck and good fortune, okay? Um, the, the message of the hedgehog there in the corner, that's about your boundaries, uh, the need for you to protect yourself here, and the golden acorns is saving, Okay, um, it could be, Aquarius, that you're being told that now is the time for you to start making plans for your future, for you to start saving up, okay? So that could be saving your energy or having like a, a secret savings account, you know, squiddling money away so that you can break free from this situation. And again, listen, if anyone's sitting there going, oh no, you shouldn't be doing stuff like that when you're in a relationship with someone. If you're sitting there thinking that then you've never ever ever once been in an abusive relationship in your life then have you because anybody who has been in an abusive relationship the first thing they will tell another person who is also in an abusive relationship the first thing they will say is you're going to need to start hiding away money saving away money and if you are one of the lucky ones who has lived in a bubble good for you. The message clearly isn't for you. Move along. Count your blessings and move along. 
But for those where this is resonating, there is absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever with you having some kind of contingency plan put in place for your own safety. Nothing wrong with that at all. And in fact, with it being coins energy, that's the realistic approach to take, especially with that hedgehog and the spikes of self-protection. OK, you've got to put self-preservation first and foremost here, Aquarius. And you know what? To hell what anyone else says or thinks about it. I'm, I'm not getting involved with debates. We're, we're, we're not doing that. When someone's health and safety is at risk, you have got to do what you feel is the right thing for you to do. And you've also got ivy ivy plants. Now, the Victorians used to refer to ivy plants as the plants of chaos, and that was because um, the ivy, wherever it could put down roots, and there, there weren't many places the ivy couldn't grow, but it, it used to get in amongst all like the, the building's bricks and stuff, and it would cause problems for the building and, you know, weaken the structure type thing. That's why they used to refer to it as the plant of chaos, even though they loved it. Um, personally, for me, whenever you see ivy, it's a message of Aquarius. You're going to be able to put down roots anywhere you choose to. You will be able to grow and blossom wherever you choose to next okay ivy for me symbolic symbolically is a plant of defiance is a plant of defiance it's a it's a survivor so there's a really strong metaphor there that's coming through for the aquarius people who are resonating with this energy spirits telling you you are a survivor you will be able to put down new roots. You will be able to adapt to your new environment. And guess what? You're going to thrive because look at the look at the environment of that ace of coins. It's thriving. It's abundant. It's full of potential. It's healthy. OK. So by you putting down some sort of contingency plan here for yourself, Aquarius, that is going to guarantee that you can transcend these obstacles, that you can free yourself from this situation here. OK. And clarify expectations. Thank you. Nine of Swords. Stress, worry, anxiety. Again, um, keep a close eye on your sleep patterns. If you're not getting enough sleep at night, you do definitely risk impacting on your body's uh, natural defense mechanisms. Okay, you could end up uh, ending up getting a it's like your immune system. If you don't get enough sleep, your immune system will take a hit. And then you could be unwittingly exposing yourself to other germs and diseases and nothing good, basically. OK, um, so it's also telling me that you're expecting the worst because that's a nightmare card to clarify expectations. You're expecting the worst. It's like you, you're definitely expecting uh, a bad situation to go from bad to worse. You've got the Hermit here and the King of Coins, which is under there, the Queen of Cups. Yeah. It's time for you to go within and for you to really evaluate what it is that's important to you what it is that you value here okay some somebody here is also being told that you're already doing a lot by yourself if not everything by yourself so you don't actually need this individual in fact i'm reading their energy as their they're a liability to you rather than anything else and then you've got the queen of cups as the overall energy which is love queen of cups five of swords three of swords 
This individual is jealous of another person here. Or they've been hurting you because you were involved with someone else here. But I'm also seeing that you will come out on top, Aquarius. You you will be the victor in this situation, even though it's kind of it is it's an empty victory. Five of Swords, Three of Swords. It's like that. There's no real winners here per se. Um, you know, but at the moment, it just seems like you're both just hurting each other. Okay, can we have some advice for Aquarius, please? Advice for Aquarius. <clears throat> advice for Aquarius. The star. It's literally your major arcana is coming out as your advice. Your advice is you've got to think about yourself. Healing, nurturing, rebuilding, working on yourself, introspection, giving yourself time and space here. Really looking at this situation for how it truly, truly is. The sun, yeah. Your advice is to find happiness, whatever you can find it, or start making a life that you're genuinely happy with. They're saying your happiness is more than possible. Okay, the sun is literally the happiest card in tarot. It's growth, abundance, it's life-giving. This could well be the sort of situation that's been playing out for so long that you might have forgotten what it feels like to be happy. So you're going to have to remind yourself where you can what it's like to be happy, what it's like to be in love and to be loved. What else for Aquarius, please? In love. Mature women. You could be the mature woman. You could be dealing with a mature woman. High honor. Oh, the mask. And the compass. Mask. The mask is a liar. The mask is a fraud. It's a fake. It's a phony. Mask is somebody pretending to be someone that they're not. And with the compass being right next to it, it's... Um, you're find you're finding someone out here. You're finding them out. Um, you you're making discoveries about this individual, about their lies, about the way that they've been maneuvering you, as well. And the thing is, you you've got high honor. That's like uh, people's opinions of you on the whole is really quite positive. Okay, people do speak highly of you. They speak positively of you. And you've got child at the bottom of the deck. Now, with the Lenormand cards, the child, it can be a literal child, but it can also be just doing something new, exploring something new, just for the fun of it, without having any kind of expectations. It's like that childlike wonder, that childlike innocence. So again, you're going to have to take it as it resonates, okay? I feel for a small handful of you, there could well be a child here that's being used as a, as a tool of manipulation here with that mask and the compass. What else for Aquarius, please? Go slow and take time. Fogged in. 
So when you're in the thick of the fog, it's impossible to see what to do. So step back, step back and take another look. Go slow, take your time. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life, yeah. Yeah, you're being invited to have a brand new beginning in your life here, Aquarius. You're being invited to walk through that metaphorical doorway or that portal and to start something new. And you can see as well the environment that you're leaving is quite dark and spooky. A little bit depressing, but the environment that you're going to be stepping into is far better. There's literally green fields and sunshine, growth and abundance, full of potential. Something about the situation that you're in at the moment, there is no potential, there is no room for growth. What else for Aquarius, please? Okay, so you have got the letters A, Q, well, that's a V, a C, what else for Aquarius? A P and a Y. What else for Aquarius, please? What else for Aquarius? Okay. Oh. Okay. Aquarius. This one says, shitty people will never admit that they're wrong and will always proclaim that they're right. Be a better person and stay humble when you're wrong and be quiet when you're right. Yeah. I feel that this is saying, avoid the temptation of telling someone I told you so. Okay. interesting uh but yeah that is what i have for you guys i genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you're wanting to see more information on how you can book a personal reading with me that can be found in my description box below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye